Is everyone hungry? You haven't eaten lunch yet, right? Yeah, I'm starving. I do not need anything, Princess Rusevilda. Princess, I'm not hungry either. Really? It looks like everyone isn't hungry yet. Let's put off lunch until later. Huh? But I am hungry! Good idea. Let's wait until later. Oh. All right. I'll be in my quarters, so if you get hungry, just stop by. What's the deal? You guys are actually hungry, aren't you? I overslept today, so I missed breakfast. Listen, when the princess says, are you hungry, with a happy look on her face, make sure you answer, no thanks, I'm fine. Huh? How come? When Princess Rusefilda speaks that way, it means that she intends to do the cooking herself. Bear in mind that this is coming from me, but you would do well to follow Crocelle's advice. Sethi cooks? That's unexpected. Yes, she herself seems to love to cook, but... Have you ever eaten salt pickled apple pie with chili sauce? Oh, and the taste of that steamed chicken stuffed with chocolate yuzu pepper sauce and habaneros topped with squid ink sauce defies imagination. The instant I took one bite, my tongue went completely numb. What the hell is that? People actually eat that stuff? She said the recipe was her pride and joy and made us eat it. You're kidding, right? Even Argo, who has a dull palate, didn't clean his plate. I gave it some thought, and even though you aren't hungry right now, I should cook something now so you can eat it when you're hungry later. Besides, Juto said that he is hungry. Zephy! Huh? Uh, the thing is... What? Um, would you be interested in seeing the sights of Abuze with me? Huh? What brought this on? But you said that you were hungry, Juto. Are you sure you don't want something to eat? Well, um, no. I think I'm fine for now. Let's all eat together later. Uh, let's head into town. It'll help us work up an appetite. Besides, it's boring going by myself. Let's go together. Oh, I suppose that might be okay. All right, let's go. Princess Rizafilda, take care. I'll see you later then. Phew, I usually think of him as a tonal dimwit, but I guess he can be useful sometimes. That was a rather clever bit of on-the-spot thinking on his part. There's a lot of people out. Well, it is lunchtime. Juto, are you sure you aren't hungry? You know, I don't think you were there during breakfast either. I don't think you've eaten anything all day, have you? Uh, no, but I'm fine, really. Oh. So, you cook, Zephy? I heard about it from the guys. It's pretty surprising to hear about a princess who cooks. Only since I came to Abazet. A few years ago, I couldn't so much as boil water. But a few years ago, you were still in the palace, right? Yes. You know, I never imagined that this day would actually come. I yearned so much for the outside world. Back then, I wasn't allowed to even set foot outside the palace. Has Rue been your guard since then, Zephy? I'm curious, when did you and Rue first meet? I suppose it was when I was nine. Rue was so adorable. <laughs> you see, back then, Rue would do just about anything that I asked of her. <laughs> Even the silliest things. Wow, that's surprising. All she does now is nag and gripe. I bet she scolded you all the time, too. I suppose it's my fault that Rue ended up like that. Your fault? How come? is a little embarrassing. Huh? Seriously? The princess was a wild child? I just can't picture that. 
Princess Rusafilda was notorious back in the palace. She was considered the most unruly princess in the history of the Berlinette royal family. She would break vases the late queen loved and then blame it on the servants. And she would hide cockroaches and mice in the dresses of the court ladies and then feign innocence. <laughs> I'd pay good money to see that. If the princess still had that personality now, she'd be a real hoot to be around. Please don't say that, even as a joke. She would do things like say that she wanted to see fireworks and set fire to the royal villa, or break her leg jumping out of a tree. It was my daily chore to keep the old Princess Rusafilda out of trouble. It was my days spent with Princess Rusafilda that made me so prone to nagging. Perhaps I should not be saying this. But back then, she was so bad, I did not think of her as the princess, but as the enemy. Now, now, she's turned into the model princess, so it all worked out. I suppose you're right. People can change if given the proper motivation. A uh, motivation? Did something happen? At the time, given her personality, there was little chance of her quietly learning her lessons in the palace. Even Queen Ibrin was completely at wit's end, thanks to Princess Rusafilda's unruly behavior. Wow. So, did she do something crazy, like sneak out of the palace? Ah, now I get it. So that's the reason why Rue ended up with that personality. Right. I can barely face Rue with all the things I've done. So, you two eventually snuck out of the palace? Yes. Rue finally gave in when I threw a big temper tantrum, and she cooperated with my escape plan. Luck was on our side, and we succeeded in slipping out of the palace. I bet that Rue was actually a nervous wreck inside. The Rue we know now never would have let you do it. <laughs> True. But at the time, what existed outside the palace was like a dream world to me. I loved the streets that were packed with people and bursting with energy, and things I'd never seen before were being sold in the hustle and bustle of the market. I was in a daze, taking in all the amazing sights. And there she was, right there at my side the whole time, watching over me, keeping me safe. Rue has always been my pillar of strength. And on that day, like many others, if Rue had not been there, things would not have ended well for me. Did something happen on the day you snuck out of the palace? I guess I attracted unwanted attention because I was dressed in luxurious clothes, walking around the market looking like a rube. So there was a bit of a squabble. A group of thugs who were loitering around the market decided to pick a quarrel with us. That's when... Rue was hurt very badly when she tried to protect me. But I... I was so very, very scared that I ran away, leaving Rue behind. Zephy. I was terrible. Tiny little Rue was left to face off against those awful scary men all alone because of me. How could I have run away like that? To this day, I regret what I did. Why in the world did I do such a foolish thing? But you were just a child back then. There was not a thing you could have done. But Rue was even younger than I was. No matter how frightened I was, I shouldn't have run away like that. After that, Rue was bedridden for a while because of her injuries. Looking at Rue as she lay unconscious, I felt terrible. And that's when I swore to myself that no matter what happened, I wouldn't abandon Rue next time. So that's why. I heard what happened when you defeated Elgar at Belfort. When he had Rue cornered, they said you threw yourself between them in a blink of an eye. To save Rue, you were ready to lay down your life to face him, right? You knew about that? It looks like you kept your word. But I... To this very day, I'm still being saved by Rue all the time. I guess compared to Rue, I have a long way to go. Well, the princess was just a kid back then. Who can blame her for running away? I have to admit, though, you're pretty amazing. You stood up to those guys and didn't run. I'm impressed. <sighs> what is it? If you must know, the truth is, I didn't get hurt then. 
Huh? Word of this isn't to reach Princess Rosafilda's ears, but that was all an act. Under instructions from the Queen to teach the Wayward Princess a lesson, I hired those people to put on a performance. Shock therapy, you might say. The Queen thought that if we went that far, she would straighten up. After all, deep down, she is a kind person. What? But the Princess cried over you for days out of concern for you as you lay there in bed. You're telling me that was all a lie? You're a real piece of work, lady. We probably went too far. But it's a fact that Princess Rosafield acted properly ever since. Hmm. If the Princess ever finds out, she's in for a big shock. Which is why I'm insisting that you keep it from her. If you leak word of this to her, I will see to it that Princess Rosafilda takes out her cooking habit on you. Ugh. Anything but that. But you know, that story, is it true? The part that he helped out with the plan? I can't believe it. Considering his image now, you never would have guessed. Yes, I suppose. But way back then, he was held in the highest regard. At the time, even I respected him. You respected him? You're kidding! Now is another story, of course. However, he did not know that the squabble that day was all an act. She just saw me being beaten by some scoundrels and ran to my aid immediately. I feel sorry for them, but the scoundrels were sent flying. I think he was... I think he was sincerely worried about our well-being. The grave expression on his face gave me that impression. I suppose I might have been mistaken. Looking back on it now, it's pretty embarrassing. I mean, I cried my eyes out right in front of Shuenzite. I was frantic. I begged him to help Rue. He did as I asked and immediately left to rescue Rue for me. Shuenzite did that? Yes, and I... When he did that, I wished in all earnestness that... When he had time, he would visit with me and listen to a child's silly stories with all seriousness. I adored Shuenzite with all my heart. But then, he took my mother's life. Zephy. And when he imprisoned me, this is what he said. I fight for what I believe is right. Where is the righteousness in betraying the royal family, stealing the country, and slaughtering so many people. But even now, I sometimes remember memories of his kind, smiling face. I sometimes wonder. I want to know what his real motives are, what he's really thinking. One day, the time will come when you learn everything. I suppose. <sighs> Why don't we start back? I'm getting hungry now, too. Oh, you're hungry? Yeah. Oh, um, now that I think about it, it would take too long to cook something. So let's eat out. No, that's all right. I got all of the prep work out of the way yesterday. All I have to do is cook it. It won't take long. No, that's... um... Come on, let's get back to the barracks. Uh... The thing is... Juto? Huh? Thanks for listening to my story. I'm sorry I rambled. I must have talked your ear off. If you need someone to talk to, come to me whenever you want. Thanks. Why did you have to go and say I'm hungry then? Damn. I take back what I said. You are a dimwit, all right. What could I do? I really was hungry, so it just sort of slipped out without thinking. So what now? Who knows? Thanks for waiting! Here's my special salmon steak! 
something special? It's eaten with a sauce I made from a mixture of strained foie gras and caviar and fresh cream thickened with honey and octopus ink. It's my new menu item. Go on, dig in. Uh, uh, um. You know, I don't seem to be very hungry. I'm not hungry yet either, but Judo here is starving, so he can stuff his belly full. Juto, you've been walking around hungry all day, right? You even went for a walk before lunch. It's a good thing I made so much. Feel free to eat everything. <laughs> Thanks for the meal. <laughs> <laughs>